All right, people, welcome to the video today. We are hiking up Mount Timpanogos. Here in just a few hours, we're gonna be on the trailhead and we are going to be hiking up the mountain. And I wanted to bring you guys along for this adventure. I have a good game plan in mind. I just got done kind of showing you guys what we're bringing on this adventure. And yeah, let's get right into the video, roll it. I'm enjoying this. I'm so glad that I got myself to actually get out here and do this hike because gosh dang it's so cool out here at night and just in the middle of the night. Highly recommend it. So other than that really cool people up here and I'll catch you guys later. Dive down into that king. Okay, so last time I checked in, I was up. Let's see where are we? So we were up there at that point, and then we made our way down to there, and then to that ridge, and then down that. So last time I checked in was right where that rock line is, so like right there when you saw me last but yeah now we're gonna dive into that valley and uh should be a good little downhill hike that was the hardest part 
so the rest is kind of just smooth sailing until we get some food in us back at the car and i'm really looking forward to it hallelujah Good morning, how's everyone? We're about, just about eight hours into the hike. We started at 12, 21, it's now eight. And I feel like, well I know we're past halfway. Last quarter and get some food and we'll be living again. Right now I feel like I'm surviving more than I'm living and that's not bueno. Uh, hey, how's it going? Good. I've definitely learned quite a bit about what to bring. Like, we're not done yet. I keep telling myself that my feet do not hurt because I don't think about it. I remind myself that pain is just temporary. Right? Yeah. Pain is temporary. <laughs> so, as long as we just keep that mindset, focus on the positive, keep getting down this mountain. Let's go. Well, there's no way of me showing you where we were, but basically up that canyon, we're still going down. We gotta go, go down there. Oh, we were, up that and we just zigzagged all the way down that and then we walked along this face over here zigzagged down and then we're on a flat spot and i believe we head into another valley and then we get food who's excited for food i'm excited for food good gracious something get anti my belly okay see you at the next checkpoint Echo! Eee! <laughs> That's so cool. It's freaking awesome. All right, folks. We're down to the flat of the valley. That means we are on the home stretch. Let's get it and finish a strong scope. Hey, so what I've learned so far from this 15 mile hike is that I need to reevaluate my hiking setup and my shoes and the pace that I can actually complete this at. The only issue I'm finding with my stuff, my, my performance right now is my feet hurt now that's not a bad thing it's just telling me that i cannot go trail hiking slash walking slash running slash jogging in freaking hunting boots because it kills my feet so i need to get some better shoes for that these are more the boots i'm wearing are more for like trailblazing bush brush i call it bush crawling you just go up in that go right up the mountain no trail you make the trail you know so it's one thing I've learned I've also learned that I can probably find a more efficient way to carry food uh, this fanny pack backpack setup is kind of uncomfortable but with this hike in particular you kind of need this setup to stay comfortable and stay hydrated unless you're in really good shape and you really do prepare the day before to be completely honest i i could have tackled this a little bit better uh it's definitely more of a sunday morning type of hike not a friday right after work drive up this canyon and get an hour of sleep and then go do 15 miles so don't recommend that i recommend you know getting really good sleep the day before and hiking starting 
at around two o'clock in the morning. It's probably the prime for this hike. I left at 12.21. That's when I locked my car and started my watch. My watch actually ran out of battery, so it's kind of unfortunate. But it did help me keep pace. I don't think I saved, ah, saved any of it. I just rolled my ankle. I, I gotta go, guys. Bye. I saw cars. I saw the cars. I saw cars. Yeah, look at that. Cars. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. And now we feast. Strenuous hike. We gotta keep our joints in check. All right, we got ground beef, ketchup, salsa, cheese, and eggs. This tastes like I came straight from Zeus's kitchen. Sidon's coffee pot. All right, people, I am exhausted. Holy goodness. Yeah, let me tell you, I'm freaking exhausted after that one. Woo! I'm hyped. I just put some eye drops in because I look freaking baked right now. I'm good, though. I'm about to take a one hour drive up to Strawberry and go camping with the boys and try my best to keep smiling and walk away from today with a positive mindset. That's what I do every day, you already know. Yo, good job, Talon. You finished that hike. You finished the day with a positive mindset. And you got home. And you read those pages the day after, which was yesterday. Because today is Monday. You already know that hard work and discipline always out-executes talent and luck. Peace, love, and positivity. We'll catch you guys on the flip.